I go. And it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven. Or to hell. <sighs> that which hath made them drunk hath made me bold. <laughs> what hath quenched them hath given me fire. <laughs> It was the owl that screeched. The fatal bellman, which gives the sterns good night. He is about it. The doors are open, and the surfeited grooms do mock their charge with snores. Wait and tis not done. The attempt and not the deed confounds us. Hark! Oh, I laid their daggers ready. He could not miss them. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband? I've done the deed. Did I not hear a noise? Well, I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now! As I descended? Aye! Hark! Who lies in the second chamber? Donalbane. This is a sorry sight. Foolish thought to see a sorry sight. This one did laugh in his sleep, and one cried madder, that they wake each other. I had stood and heard them, but they did say their prayers. And address them again to sleep. There are two lodged together. This one cried, God bless us. Amen the other. That they had seen me with these hangman's hands. Listening their fear. I could not say amen when they did say, God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could I not say amen? I had most need of blessing, and amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways. So it will make us mad. The voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth hath murdered sleep. The innocent sleep. Sleep that knits up the ruffled sleeve of care. The death of each day's life. Salt labor's bath, balm of hard minds. Great nature's second course, chief nourisher in life's feast. What do you mean? And still I cried, sleep no more. Lambs has murdered sleep, and therefore Koto shall sleep no more, Macbeth shall sleep no more. Who was it that thus cried? Huh? Why, worthy thing, you do unbend your manly strength to think so brain sickly of things. Go, get some water, and wash this filthy witness from your hands. Why did you bring the daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go and carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think what I've done, to look out again. I dare not. Infirm of purpose. Oh, give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are but as pictures. Tis the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms with all, for it must seem their guilt.
How is it with me when every noise appalls me? What hands are here? Oh, they pluck out mine eyes. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? No. This my hand would rather the multitudinous seas incarnadine, making the green one. at the south entry. Retire we to our chamber. A little water clears us off the steed. How easy is it then? Your constancy hath left you unattended. More knocking. Get on your nightgown. Lest occasion call us and show us to be watchers. So purely in your thoughts. To know my deed, twill best not know myself. Wake Duncan with thy knocking! I would thou couldst. <laughs> <laughs> 